Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. Welcome to my channel. In this clip, we want to talk about one of the basic programming pattern in the Unity, which is called Prototype. With Prototype, you can create several objects from one certain object with exactly the same variable and other characteristics of that object. You can imagine we have one tank into your scene and you want to uh, creates five other tanks with exactly the same variables and uh, values with that's the first tank. So you need to instantiate this tank into your scene five times. So a prototype pattern helps you to instantiate the character, object or other elements and save the other uh, variables uh, f uh, for the new instantiated objects exactly with the same uh, with first one okay let's get started how we can implement this uh, programming pattern in here we have an, op an empty op uh, scene and in uh, manager object I added a prototype a script let's take a look at the prototype script which has instantiate in here when we want to call this function and uh, this action uh, you know prototype has instance equal null and in here we will instantiate that object we want to uh, copy and duplicate and this is the that position you want to be and that rotation you want to be and in here instantiate uh, the local scale can be exactly with the current object and uh, transform that local state and uh, local scale and in here you can say okay instantiate selective true or you can say okay selective false whenever I need it we can uh, Active it or add it to any list you want. And finally, we'll return this instant.get component this guy. And in the manager, we have the spawner. This spawner used this prototype to instantiate the tank whenever we want. Let's take a look at the spawner. In here is spawner we have public prototype enemy tank prototype for example and as you can see enemy tank prototype is exactly with this class and in public void tank maker we will say okay try to instantiate this prot uh, this tank this uh, function okay this object and uh, now we can, uh, you know, um, change the specific parameters of this new tank, for example, change the name of it to tank. You know, uh, the difference between this prototype and the uh, normal instantiate of Unity is in the instantiate of Unity, you need to uh, first instantiate and then all the time set the variable of that new instantiated object but with this prototype you will change those parameters which you want to change for example position rotation scale and other parameters one time and uh, in your main scripts you will just call this in your customized instantiate function and after as you can see you can change that parameters again okay i put this context menu tanks maker tank maker you can call this function whatever you want and with this context menu you can have access to your function from here tank maker no need to do another thing to be able to test in the placing okay let's play right and in here i right click tank maker okay has been created a new tank which has prototype as spawner and once again tank maker tank maker tank maker we have four new tanks exactly in the same position with the main object manager and same rotation and same M scale and exactly the same components attached to the new uh, object 
it is very helpful uh, in, once you want to create a new soldier or new objects in the runtime into your game. Okay, I hope this tutorial will be helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, don't hesitate to ask any question related to Unity, AR, VR and XR and like this video if you like it. Have a great time. Bye-bye.